Well, how's everybody doing out there? This is the Black Effect Enterprise, and this is episode of the Black Effect. We recently just had a tragedy, man. This is a horrible tragedy. A gunman killed at least 18 children and two adults at a Texas elementary school. This man, this happened at Rob Elementary School, and this was in Uvalde, Texas. Now, the, unfortunately, man, yeah, this man killed 18 children. And you have um, two adults among the dead. The shooter himself is also deceased. Now, what do you think about these things? I mean, we all know that it's a tragedy. But we've you've heard people tell you that these things are going to happen more often in this wicked world. And if you don't understand or overstand what's going on, you constantly just going to be in the victimhood state or constantly be wondering what's going on. Why is God has already told you you don't want to listen like when I, you know, when you hear brothers like myself telling you, you know, preaching the Lord, preaching the gospel, telling you these things of how this things, how stuff is going to work. It's already written. God has already written these things. We've been preaching this stuff, you know, for for years upon years now. But you can't prevent the prevention is to stop is the favor of the Lord and to stop the demonic activity before it ensues to prevent the demonic activity before it goes on. I don't know why these schools don't have security you know, I remember in, in my school we used to have guard shacks. Everybody couldn't just get into the school. You understand? Like they need to do have more precautions with that instead of trying to teach kids foolishness. They not they worried about the wrong thing. And I'ma be honest, man. If man, the law says woe to those who are raising children in today's day. I'm paraphrasing, but it's woe to those who give suck to children today. That's, I mean, it's a detriment, bro. It's a very, very hard thing to raise children today. You know, even in times back where times have always been difficult, but today's, today's day and age, you can't even really raise your kids yourself. At least back in the days, your kid was basically like your property. You know, not saying that people should be your property, but you had the authority over your child. Now, everybody else wants authority over your child. And that's and and growing up without God and not grounding your kids, teaching them, not giving them any teachings in the way that they should go. You have them just pretty much start going astray, getting led by Satan. That happens in our community, whether they get swallowed up by the streets or that happens in other communities, whether they get indoctrinated by these white supremacist groups or they get just they just get indoctrinated by Satan himself like this man right here. This man right here got indoctrinated and demonized by Satan. He running around feeling like he can't get any uh, get the woman he wants, feeling like life owes him something. You know, feeling like his few, he don't have a bright future. Again, I guarantee you, this wasn't a, a a boy who was taught and raised up as a Christian or raised up in the Bible. I guarantee you that. You know, and that's shame on his family for that. You understand? We could keep we we could say all these. You know, we we sad for the family for for his man. Look, we sad for the family of the victims, man, because you you this is your child. You know, you raised this child. You know, the Lord said, train up a child in the way they should go and they won't deviate from that path. You ain't trained your child up in the Bible. We already know that. That's just facts. And people today in the world wonder why all this wickedness is upon the earth as we further pull further and further from God on a daily basis. People think that they can actually mock God. Man, are you crazy? It says that the gunman, the 18 year old gunman, shot his grandmother first at her home before heading towards the school in a large dark truck he crashed the vehicle in a ditch near the small campus callers told law enforcement that he was seen exiting the truck carrying some sort of rifle a backpack and wearing body armor the gunman waiters made his way into the school building through a south facing door 
and began shooting. This this guy here, first of all, again, listen to what I just said. Train up your child in the way they should go. This this man here shot his grandmother. I'm a granny's baby. I was raised by my grandmother. It's no way that I thought about committing any violent shooting. My, come on, man. This man was clearly demonized. You understand? Satan can get into your heart and your mind literally and start influencing you, like giving you thoughts. You think it's your thoughts. But if you go with them, shame on you, man. You know what I'm saying? This man here, this young man here, basically ended his, he ended his life. You know, his life got ended by the police. But he ended 18, he ended 20 other lives. 18 children, two other adults. He ended 20 other lives, man. Why don't you just kill yourself? But people don't, these people don't do that. You know, they get used by Satan. And commit these type of acts. Well, the power of God has to contrast these things. You know understand? The power, the spirit. There, we are on the. We serve powers and spirits um, are unseen. There are unseen spirits and principalities of the air that we are that are at work. That forces that we are um, that are some forces that are against us and some that are for us. We have to understand these. We have to have an understanding of these dynamics of the earth. We don't. A lot of people just have a carnal understanding of how things work. And you lacking. You know what I'm saying? You end up lacking in more ways than one. You lacking when it comes to, to, uh, to discernment on where to be and how to move. You lacking on when, when the threat level comes. You don't, you know, nothing's present. But just, it's just full on mayhem mode. You know, you need opposing. See, when the cops got there, they killed like they was able to kill him. They didn't kill that grocery store shooter. The grocery store shooter um who killed the people in tops, tops this. And if you look at this man, you got to pay attention. Tops um grocery store. You have Rob Elementary School. When you understand that these people, even if they don't have a connection to their ideology of um see the the white supremacy the all the, the mental illness all that's the scapegoat man all of that's the scapegoat for the same thing these individuals are under the same banner of serving satan i i've done videos on this you need to go follow me on the awakening podcast man i'm going to uh leave, i'll leave the video link to the video i'm going to do for the awakening in this description but you have to understand that like I said, there are literal devil worshipers on the earth. And if you have, and I'm not talking about, you know, the um, the Church of Satan and the the, the Anton LaVey. None, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about actual believers, followers, hearers and doers of the word of Satan. Lucifer, the fallen angel, the one who's against you, the evil one. They're under his influence. Some people is under Lucifer care. And you got to understand only the power of God can trump that. You understand? Only the power of the of the Lord can trump the, the power of Satan. He was when Satan went to war in heaven. Satan was assured that he was going to win. You know what I'm saying? Only God stomped him down. Bang. And he was assured of God's and he was assured of God's almighty power. That he was assured that God now was all white. We have to pray for, we of course pray for the people of the healing of the families, man. You know, of these children, of the children and, and the healing of the families of the people, who, of the adults, man, who lost their life. You know, they didn't go to, they didn't uh, wake up thinking that their loved ones was going to end their life. You don't send your children to school, your little kids thinking that they could lose their life. Now, one thing, you know, and I'm talking about in elementary school. Now, in high school, it's a, in junior high, it's just a free for all, man. You know, that's why, you know, I, I do uh, agree with Pastor Dow. You need to listen to the pastors, man. The, and I'm not talking about your phony pastors in the church. I'm talking about you need in, in uh, these phony churches, but you need to listen to righteous men give you advice don't worry about you know where it's coming from just take the advice if it's good 
Shit, you need to do if if you're gonna have kids, you need to start if families need to be needed first of all, you need to start, have a family established first. And once you have that, you need to this family needs to be led by God. The man needs to be head led, he needs to be the head, and his, his guidance needs to come from God. The family that prays together stays together. And y'all need to decide that is it, you know, set up a structure where you can teach your own child. Because in, in people complain so much about schools today and this and that. Well, why aren't you smart enough? Why don't you teach them? I wish all my parents would have did that. Because honestly, the stuff I learned in school, I didn't retain. I don't retain. I didn't retain them. I didn't retain much of it. I'm not gonna say I didn't retain any of it, but I didn't retain much of it. You know, I would rather my parents just school, you know, school me and gave me the life lessons that a nigga need. How to balance a checkbook, how to balance, how to manage your credit, how to, you know, how to find your purpose in life. These things, biblical tenets, man, the first churches were started by Christians. The first, I mean, the first schools, first colleges were started by Christians, man. To teach, because God understands what wisdom and knowledge is. He's the author of it. I'm not, and I'm not deviating, um, going off on a tangent. This all is relevant, man. It's all relevant to get you to, because I'm going to tell you like this. The favor of God what it does is it uproots you from certain it, it stops you from going certain places. It blank it it literally stops you. It tells you to stop. It gives you the discernment to set up certain things and put in parameters certain fail safes to where you don't get caught up and jammed up. You don't believe me? This is biblical tenets. When you had men in the Bible who God warned them of famines. He warned them that famine is coming. Store up your food. You know what I'm saying? So when people was, so when the famine came, people was coming to him, coming to them. God give you the premonitions. So you can, you need to start keeping your kids out of these schools. School them yourself. So then in turn, you imprint more on, of your and self on them also. You understand? Now, if you got to send them to a daycare or get family, family members, send, let your family members watch your children. Let family members whom you trust, not molesters and, and foolish people and wicked people. Let your family members watch them. Because you don't want to, people talking about, you have to say, I'm outside, I'm outside. Yeah, you outside a little too much. You outside and you outside getting swept up in, a, in, in this chaos and calamity. Not saying that, bro, you should be walking around with no fear and all that. You as a person probably don't give a damn about nothing as an adult. You know, some adults, they, they they don't give a They one foot in the grave. You know what I'm saying? They don't even care. But this for your children. You know, Satan is after your children because children are pure. Children are pure souls, pure human beings until they get corrupted by this world, you know, and sin sets and sets root and takes place. You know, the sin is in this world. But Satan would love to destroy your children. He's trying to do that on every front with, like I said, within these wicked schools, the stuff that they being taught. You know, God not happy with the school system itself. He not happy with the school system, the way it's being taught, the people there, the, the teachers, the, the things that they trying to do in schools. They taking away prayer. You can't pray anymore. You know, it's just basically becoming a cesspool of indoctrination and it's not good. But this guy here, man, the, the police, like I said, they ended up killing him. He, um, the U.S. Border Patrol agents were among law enforcement who responded, exchanging gunfire with the gunman who had barricaded himself in a Department of Homeland Security, who had barricaded himself inside, I'm sorry, a Department of Homeland Security spokesman said. At least one Border Patrol agent was wounded, but it's believed that the Border Patrol agent shot and killed a suspect. I mean, is that... Anything to you? Do you expect anything less? You have to go in there, you know, and with the with the utmost with with the utmost prejudice and eliminate the threat, man. You understand? Now you you try to take these people alive. You you want to want them to, because, like I said, man, when the Lord spoke, when the Lord get to torture you in the in the mind, when you trapped in your own mind, that's like that's how hell on earth. You know, I wouldn't wish that. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy because I've been there. You know what I'm saying? So let the Lord handle that, you know, these people. And now this man is in hell. So the Lord going to sort him out. How do you know that? Oh, how could you say that? That's biblical. You know, the Lord said, um, 
you know, this man killed children. You know what I'm saying? Thou shalt not kill. This man is in hell. This man, you know, in hell ain't good. You know, like DMX told you, it's dark and hell is hot. Man, these, you know, audible screams of billions of people all throughout, the wicked people all throughout time, uh, out of, all in one, audibly being tortured. That's where this man is. So don't, you know, don't, don't give him a second thought again. You know, or, or, or think about is he getting his, you know, <laughs> oh no, yes. You better believe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God designed hell to be for the demonic realm. Now, these beings, they can endure that realm. You, on the other hand, you're going to be separated from the Lord. It's, it's extreme torture. It's not, you know, I couldn't imagine that type of darkness, man. But people cause these things on earth. You know, we the earth going to become more wicked. We see that. I've already done a video on that. It's going to become more wicked. More stuff like this is going to happen. So I suggest you get a relationship with Jesus Christ. I suggest you stay prayed up and get discernment. Start honing that gift. Prayer meditation, prayer works. Start. Um, the reason why I'm here today is because I had a praying grandmother, both of them, two of them. You understand? Praying, literally praying for my well-being in the times where I couldn't even see good for myself. You know, so we have to stay doing that. And as a nation, we need healing instead of having petty differences and bickering. We can't get to the bottom of the things to stop anything because we got so much infighting on petty bickering and stupid stuff. We can't agree on silly stuff. I mean, we can't agree on on uh, small things. And again, this country is a big hypocrite. And until you stop being a hypocrite, uh, you nothing's going to go change and nothing's going to get solved. You know, you have in God we trust on the money. But do you look at the, when you look in the news and you look at these people talk or you look at the country as a whole? Do you see do you see any world where they trust in God? Do you see that? No, I see more people, LGBT, more people championing, you know, uh, stuff that God has said that he's uh, he's not uh, he's not down with that God is looks at as an abomination of sin. This world is this this country is embracing it and loving it and running around thinking that everything just do it do as thou wilt, and people are doing as that as thou wilt, you know what I'm saying? And whether it's and it's, it's evil, they doing evil. They out here doing doing some evil. This dude right here was an incel. This guy was a nat was a natural born. He was a natural incel. Have you ever seen one? He was trying to contact this woman. As a matter of fact, uh, one of these Instagram thoughts. I mean, or Instagram models, I'm sorry. And you Instagram women, y'all need to understand like Mercedes Moore, what happened to her? Look at stories like that. Y'all need to understand what you're doing. You know, because when you sell sex, it's a dangerous business. It don't matter if you're selling it online or you're selling it in person. Why do you think women had pimps throughout time? They didn't just, women have been prostituting themselves throughout time and memorial, but they gained the knowledge to start getting pimps. Because that was gained knowledge. They understand that having a man around for protection, he deters foolishness and wickedness and wicked men. Even, you know, even just having him around deters it. Even if nothing ever, ever happens, just having him around deters that energy. But this man here was texting or trying to or trying to DM this Instagram model and basically didn't want nothing to do with him. So, you know, but he over there to me being weird. Sending up pictures of guns. That's what a lot of you niggas do, man. A lot of dudes do that, man. Try to be, try to intimidate these women into talking to y'all, you know, or to being around y'all. Like, what kind of man are you, dude? Like, <laughs> that's not how. That's not how it's supposed to work in 2022. When you got, when you don't have to. This ain't the barbarian times where you got a strong on woman raper and, and you know what I'm saying. This ain't them times, man. This dude was trying to intimidate the woman, basically being very weird and she was scared thinking that he gonna use them guns on her but you should have said something like you women to be too busy too busy in y'all own world a lot of times you need this woman could have should have said something to prevent what was going on tell the authorities how this man is talking he's showing guns you should have called the police that would have prevented what happened right then and there and I'm serious. When police get calls like that, I'm I'm with these these holes that they put on people. They put these people in mental health holes. You can't get out. Like you know what I'm saying. Well, if you talking like that, and I'm talking about 
if you have corroborate, if you have witnesses where you talking like that, talking about going to harm people or commit terrorist acts, or you got guns looking like you slipping off the deep end, you are criminally insane. They need to come get you and do something with you. All right. So with that being said, man, this is a tragedy, you know, much, um, Many prayers to all of the, the, the people who are involved in this, who lost someone, the prayers of the, to the officers, man, you know, who, um, blessings for them, who went out there and handled their business, you know, uh, prayers for the family of the officer who got shot, you know, just prayer for healing for Texas, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Dallas. I'm a natural native of Texas, man. I love this, um, my, my, my state. I love Texas, bro. I love Dallas. Love, you know, I wouldn't, um change anything I'm, I'm thankful man and you know these are good people here it's real people here real brothers real brothers and sisters are down here some some of the realest you know but we have to now um assess just how just how we move a lot of uh, in everything man and i'm talking to the brothers the lions the wolves and the dogs right now we have to assess how we move first of all we need the full armor of the Lord to put on. No excuses, man. I don't want to. You have no philosophy to give me. You know, if you're going to sit here and be talking about all the, the gods and the ancestors and all this. Like, who, what are you talking about? We have something that's tried and true. Who we? It's only one God. And we know what he's done. And this guy, history is broken in half for his actions. This God has been active on the earth since he's created it. And he's given an incarnation of himself. Named Yeshua, Jesus Christ, whatever you want to call it, that incarnation was just a continuation of God's plans here. Now, the last part of it, he's coming back. But this being gives you all of the strength you need. How some people take nine shots and they survive, miss every organ. How some people can just take one, they're dead. You know, God had his people are hard to kill. Samson, look at Samson. Samson was taking 30 men. David, David beat Goliath. You understand? You need God, black man. Return. You the first person here. You, us. You need him. So you need to return to him. Get that. Get your, you know, get the all of us. Get your circle right. Your circle of people. Start building a circle of strong people. What with wise men and women. You know, because you put yourself and we put ourselves in in devil's field quickly. By just, you know, going out here, you in the club getting shot up, nigga. Y'all neighborhoods, our kids ain't even safe because you don't have strong men regulating the neighborhood. We don't have neighborhood watch. We don't have, uh you know, homeowners associations and things in the neighborhood. People job discouraged and you ain't setting a good example. So our kids in the inner city, man, we already know they get swept up. So you need to change that, bro. You need to think about set up a structure, get with the right woman and the right man and give it the right partner and as a woman you need to get under a righteous man there's no other way for you to live and step and if you're gonna get with a man he needs to be a righteous man because he has to be led by god same way you do you need to, and now you in turn need to give that impart that godliness on the kid you know that nurturing that the the godliness of a of a woman man god gives you that that nurturing spirit that that spirit of mary you know, he gives you that. You need that to embody that. You need to raise your child. Now, if you need to homeschool them, look at these. Look at the uh, some of these hotels. They got the right idea. Homeschool your child, man. Teach your child. You know, have your your woman. At, if you can, if you can establish yourself as a man, have your woman teach your child. If you can't do that, you need to look into charter school. If you can't do it, like somewhere with some security. You know, you have to do the due diligence. And these schools, you need to invest money in security now. I'm talking about God. I, dude, I don't care if it's an elementary school, a high school, anywhere. You need to invest in security. I'm talking about not, not the cheap security with the flashlights and top flight security. Them guys with them vests, them guys with body armor, and them big guns, big shotguns, big big uh big ak rifles and had them had established a tower all you need is once you need one or two security guards establish a tower you act like that's gonna be a fortune shame on y'all who don't have that y'all cause these people's debts okay now for for the brothers like i say after you establish that you homeschooling your child you 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 got you know you have god leading it you could continue to build, man. Get now you can start um going to train, going to the gun range yourself, get your own uh 
uh, get your own artillery. You know, thank God, like I said, I love Texas, man. You know what I'm saying? At least we can um, defend ourselves, but it shouldn't be so easy to get guns, brother. That It shouldn't be so easy to get guns. What you need to do is start having stricter gun laws. Like a step, like for a person to purchase a, uh, any of these guns, first of all, you should only be able to purchase a firearm. I mean, a, a, a handgun and, and otherwise, anything upwards of that, like rifle, you need to be going through evalu mental evaluations, man. Scrutinize, scrutinizing people. I'm serious. Why not? You know, you say that the we, we talk about the criminals going to get them anyway. Man, these dudes be buying these type of killers like this 18-year-old goofball. They be buying their guns straight off the, the internet market, straight off the legal market, man. Now, that's it. But you need to put the, as a man, you need to put the heads of protection over your family, bro. You know, and that starts with following the most high. But this is a sad situation. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I don't even want to stay on it too long. It's your man. I'm gone.